This video is looking at trying to understand tank level system behaviour and we're going to use a MATLAB app to support this. And you might like to note, you can pause the video to copy this down, but if you do want um, more detailed notes and an organisation of those, please go to this website. So, this video is going to focus on a particular application which is common in the process industry. And you can see that in the figure at the bottom. Basically, it's a tank which has got some fluid coming in at the top and some fluid going out at the bottom. And we're going to assume that um, the flow in is constant for now. And we're going to define the output as the depth in the tank. <coughs> what we want to know is how does the depth depend upon flow in and parameters such as the cross-sectional area of the tank and the outlet pipe dimensions. Let's do some first principles modeling then just to get started. So the flow out depends upon the pressure in the tank, which basically depends on the depth and also on the outlet pipe shape. So we're gonna use this equation here. The flow out is some constant, which depends on the outlet flow pipe times the depth. The volume stored depends on the cross-sectional area. So you can see here the volume is A times the depth H. Now we're going to do this as a rate of change with time. So what we're actually interested in is the rate of change of volume in the tank with time, dv dt, is going to be flow in minus flow out. And if we combine these two equations together, we get a model here, ADH dt plus RH equals flow. So what are the core questions? How do we expect the behavior of the depth to depend on the different parameters? So the parameters A, R, and the flow in. And do real simulations confirm what we expect? So it's an important thing here. I want you to think as a viewer, what do you expect to happen and why? And then do the simulations and see, do the simulations reinforce what you expect? So we're gonna use a MATLAB app to basically act as a dummy for real simulations. And you can use this to reinforce your understanding. Once you've done that, we'll do some brief mathematical analysis to confirm what we have observed. So first, let's look at our baseline expectations. If you have the two tanks here, and you can see they've got different cross-sectional areas, but if you look at the outflow pipes, you'll see the outflow pipes are the same. So what would you expect to happen here? Now, for a fixed flow in, you would probably expect the right-hand tank to be slower to fill because it's got a much bigger cross-sectional area and therefore it needs a lot more volume to get filled up. So therefore you expect the right-hand tank to have a larger time constant T. So there's your expectation. As the area gets bigger, the response gets slower. So bigger A implies bigger time constant. Now, different example here. You'll see now what I've done is I've changed the outflow pipe. <coughs> so what we want to ask is, what's the impact of changing the outflow pipe? Have you got a large one or a small one? What do you expect? Now, probably you would expect the left-hand tank to have a much larger outflow. It's got a bigger outflow, R is bigger, so you get much more outflow for the same depth. And in consequence, you would expect with a smaller R, you will end up with a larger depth. OK, so there's your expectation. If you make the outflow bigger, the depth gets smaller or vice versa. So you might also ask in this case, what's the impact on the time constant? And we'll get to that in a bit. So let's go to our MATLAB app. So we've got this ready and what we're going to do is check out our expectations in simulation. We're going to compare the impact of changes in A and changes in R and also look at the impact of changes in flow rate. So here's our app I just brought into the screen and you'll see I've already done one simulation which you can see at the bottom right of this figure here shows you with an area of 1, an R of 0.1, a flow of 0.8 and you can see here's the response and the time constant is 10. So now let's make the area a bit bigger. Let's go to two and run the simulation and see what happens. Now, what do you see? Well, as we increase the area, you're getting the same steady state depth. 
OK, so no change in the steady state depth, but you're much slower to get to that depth. And here, notice the time constant has now gone to 20. What if I make the tank area go to four? OK, let's try another simulation. What do you notice now? It's getting even slower. So the time constant's getting bigger, but the steady state is not changing. Let's make the area even bigger. Let's go to six. What do we see now? Again, it's getting slower and slower. The time constant is now up to 60, but again, the steady state is the same. And you could, for completeness, we could take the area all the way up to 10 and run that. And you see again, we're getting slower and slower and slower. So as the area increases, we're slower to fill up for the same inlet flow. You can see the inlet, inlet flow um, is in this toolbar up here is set at 0 0.8. So let's clean that and let's start again. So now let's just set the tank at something random. Let's choose roughly four. Let's let the uh, take the pipe outlet conductance a bit lower somewhere down there and let's do a new simulation. So, oh, I got that one wrong. Made that too small. I do apologize. We'll have to start again. Didn't mean it to be quite the small. There we go. Let's put it somewhere like that. So here, oh, too small again. Let's go to 0 0.1. That'll be that'll work. Right. So if we set R equal to 0 0.1, you can see here that the time constant is 40 for this particular tank volume. And the steady state, that's the key thing, the steady state is 8. Now, what if we take the outlet conductance to, up to 0 0.2? and run. What do we see now? Well, you'll see the time constant is faster. If you see this bottom left figure, you can see here the time constant now has gone from 40 to 20. So as I made the outlet conductance bigger, as I went from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2, so the outlet pipe got bigger, the time constant got faster, but also what happened to the steady state? The steady state depth got smaller. What if I go all the way up to 0 0.3 and run? And what do you see now? You can see again the time constant has got faster and the steady state depth has got smaller. So as you increase R, the time constant is getting faster and the um, steady state is getting smaller. Now if you wanted to, you could change the flow rate, see what impact the flow rate has on this. So let's change the flow rate from 0.8 to 0.4. And let's just put this on the same figure. And what can you see is buried under the legend now, isn't it? Um, basically, the steady state has got much smaller. If I take the flow rate all the way up to one and run, and you'll see the steady state gets bigger. So in essence, that's perhaps not surprising. As you change the flow rate, it changes the steady state, but you'll notice has no impact on the time constant. So changing the flow rate does not change the time constant, but what it does change is the steady state. OK, so now let's have a look at some mathematical observations. There's our equation and I've rearranged it so that I've put it here. You can see in standard time constant form. And why have I done that? Because now you can see the time constant is A over R. So clearly the time constant gets bigger as A increases and smaller as R increases. And you'll notice that reinforces what we saw with the simulations. What about the steady state? You'll see the steady state is given as the flow in divided by R. And again, this is what we saw in the simulation. As you increased R, the steady state got smaller, but as you increase the flow in, the steady state got bigger. So our mathematical analysis has basically replicated what we saw when we did the simulations. So some conclusions. We focused on the behaviour of a tank level system with a constant inflow and an outflow that depends on the depth. We briefly introduced the mathematical modelling and we've used a MATLAB app to demonstrate how behaviour changes as the cross-sectional area and the outlet flow pipe change.